Hi, it's Ryan here from Melbourne SEO Services and from RyanTMalone.com. And today I'm, I've been asked to create a video for you about the, the Google Authorship Markup Verification process, what it means for you and how to go ahead and get that done. Now at Melbourne SEO Services, we really pride ourselves on the ability to stay on the bleeding edge when it comes to new methods and new techniques that will really give you that one up in the search engines. and. Um, this just happens to be one of those uh, processes. So first off, what is it that we're talking about? Okay, let's have a look in at the search engines here. For this particular search term, Yoast SEO, you can see here the juice of walk, the author of the very first uh, result here, he's actually got a profile image beside his search result. Now this has been happening now for a, couple, a good couple of weeks, maybe about a month. Now how this happens is through a series of link relationship tags that are placed on page. Now, this is all really geek speak. It's not too much that you really need to understand because, again, this is something that I can actually help you with, but I'll get more into that later on. So these link relationship tags, they relate to the author and to me. So if we have a look at David's, uh, David's uh, blog here, for example, the author tag would be placed on the About page link. And what that says is, it says to Google, when that information is sent through to them when the page is crawled, that says that of all of the pages on this blog, this page relates most to the author and is the most reliable piece of information about the author that you can find. And then on the About page, you will then have a link to your Google Plus profile or your Google profile, that is a requirement of this, and that will use the me tag, which is a link relationship tag that says, this is a link to my profile on Google, whether it be a Google profile or Google Plus profile. And then Google will then be able to use that information to do what you can see over here with this search query. It will be able to then pick up the author's picture and display it beside the search result. Now. As you can understand, if you have a look at all of the other pages, even though the majority of them are actually by Yoast, you can see that the one that does carry that most amount of trust is this one here, because you can actually see a face. You can associate a well-known author with that post. So again, this is extremely important and something that you really need to have a look at. Now, today, I'm actually going to show you how to go ahead and do that on David's blog. He's asked me to do it for him, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Now, first things first, you, as I said, you will need to be able to edit this link here, the About link, and you will need to also place a link to the Google profile on that About page. Now, the problem with this page, and this is one which I've actually been asked about quite a bit, is that this navigation area here is actually not set up as um, part of WordPress. It's actually part of the theme, which David's using thesis. So what we will need to do is, in the back end here, if we have a look at the site options, you'll be able to see here that you've got select menu type, and then there should also be the pages here, which are being linked to within the menu on this page, as you can see up here. So what we need to do in all effect is actually transfer them over into a custom WordPress menu, which you can do here, and then you would need to switch it so that it is your WordPress navigation menu. Now, first things first, uh, let's go ahead, let's just create a menu. So main header menu, if, um, there we go. And then go ahead and click create, and that'll go ahead and do its thing. And now all that we need to do is simply pick these pages. So we've got about, testimonials and websites. Let's just make sure that all of these match up on this page here as well, of course. So about testimonials and websites. So all of these pages will be down here. So what I might do, I might just pause the recording of this video just so I'm not boring you and then uh, I'll go ahead and I'll come back to you once this is all done. Okay, so now that I've got this menu set up uh, exactly the same way as what I've got it, as what Dave has it set up here using it in Thesis, I can now go ahead and just set that primary menu. Let's go ahead, click save. And then once that's done, let's just head into Thesis backend. Let's choose WordPress nav menu and let's click that save button. And once that's gone ahead and done that, Let's now, I'll just go ahead and I'll open this up in a separate window just so we can monitor, measure it up between each of them. So we've got home, about, 
testimonials, websites, coaching, archives, and contact. And that looks exactly the same. So we've gone ahead and we've successfully done that. Now the first part to installing the authorship markup code is within the menu. Now we first need to be able to identify this about page here as the rel equals author page. Now the only thing is if you drop this down there's no room in here to actually go ahead and do that. So there is an easy way to do this. Just click on screen options at the top click on link relationship and then you can see down here it opens up this little box here. So now all you need to do is type in author and click on save. And it will give that just a moment to go ahead and save, permitting that the uh, internet connection holds up. And now that that's going and saving, let's go ahead and we'll head into here, we'll refresh this page as well, and hopefully this refreshes just as fast as that uh, as that menus page and then now that that's gone ahead and done its thing let's go ahead and view that source and now I'm just going to type in about we'll do a search about and you can see here that we've got in this area here that's the link for the menu now you can see here that's got a rel equals author so that little piece of code there that will now tell Google that that page is the author page. Now just to make sure that Google's actually picking that up right, let's go ahead and go into this rich snippets testing tool. Let's click preview. And we'll give that just a moment to load and do its thing. And you can now see that the linked author profile is davidjennings.com forward slash about. So to me that says that it's actually done. And then we've got this thing down here where it says error author profile page does not have a rel me link to a Google profile. Let's go ahead and do that now. So if we head back to this site, let's click on about. And then now I'm going to go ahead and click on edit page. Now before I go ahead and edit that page, let's head over to David's Google profile. Now all you need to choose is this part here. So plus.google.com forward slash the number forward slash. That's all that you will need. So go ahead and copy that. Let's head back over here. And let's have a look at the visual editor. Give that just a moment to load. I'll just drag that down just a bit just so that we can get everything looking all good. And then down the bottom here, just as a temporary thing, or maybe somewhere up here. Let's have a look. I'll just go ahead and I'll activate this one. So, let's go ahead, just highlight that. Let's activate this as a link. I'm not going to bother adding a title, custom title or anything here yet, but I will open that in a new window or tab. Now let's go ahead and click update and that'll go ahead and do that. Now the only problem here is that when you add a rel equals or a link relationship link manually in the HTML here for a particular, for any post or page on WordPress, it doesn't actually retain that tag. WordPress automatically removes it. Now there is a solution for this and I detail it on this page here. So let's scroll down and I'd like to credit Juice to Vork for his work on this. It's absolutely fantastic and it's helped a lot of people so far. But there's this little piece of code here. Now all you need to do with this piece of code is you can either do it within your own uh, FTP or coding um, program such as what I've got here with Coda which is what I will use. I'll just go ahead and reconnect to this one as well. Or you can use your WordPress backend editor, which in this case, let's open this one up in a new window and we'll just wait for that to load. And then you should have here that there will be a custom functions.php file. Let's go ahead and open that. I'll edit it in the back end of WordPress because I believe this is the way that a lot of people are going to do this rather than using an FTP program like I have here. So let's just wait for that custom functions.php file to open. That shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now that that is loading, let's scroll down to the very bottom. Now you want to make sure that if there's one of these little tags down the bottom here, you're going to insert the code just after that. That's a pretty important part of this. So let's go ahead, let's just insert that. I'm not going to go into detail about what all of this code here does in particular because it's just going to make you confused, but basically 
This adds a function into WordPress where it allows those link relationship tags to show. So now let's go ahead and click on update file. We'll just wait for that to load. And then let's copy file edited successfully. That's fine. So we can now head back over to editing this page. Now there should be that area here. So what I'll do, I'm just going to go ahead and select this just to speed this up and make it so I don't have to look around too much. No, it's not going to find that. So let's go ahead and try and find this one here. Now it should be somewhere here. Now I'm not having much luck finding it. So let's go ahead and just select this piece of text here. This is a good way of finding hard to find things in HTML code. There we go. So there's that link there. Now we've got the actual link code here and all that we need to do here is just at some point outside of one of these tags let's just go rel equals me. Oh, I won't add that space in there and then let's go ahead and click update. Now that's going to go ahead and update that page with that link relationship tag in with that link. So now let's go ahead, let's view this post and then we'll have a look at the page source and I'll just go ahead and copy this again just so that we can find that easily enough. Let's right click view source, command F and now you can see that right in here so we've got I'll just go to the next one. No, that's not showing up there. And for some reason that is not showing up. That's not showing up there either. I'll just make sure that, that link is actually activated. It is definitely activated. view source again. Now this can be a bit tricky as you can see right here. Now if I just move this side by side, here we go. That's the link right there. Can take a little bit to find but uh, use that search function that can help. So you can see here that's the link there and it does have the rel equals me tag attached. So from what it seems this has been a success. But we'll double check that. We'll just go ahead and click on preview again in this rich snippets testing tool. And you can see here that it's verified the authorship markup is correct for this page. Now again, if this comes up as any errors here, you are going to want to make sure that you are actually linking to your site here as well. That's a very, very important part of this whole process. So that is how to go ahead and install the authorship markup on your website and make sure that it does get verified. Now, below this video there should be a link as well, just worth noting that if this all does seem a bit too complex for you as well, which I can completely understand, there's a lot of people who have actually asked me for help with this in getting it set up and this post has actually helped a lot of people. But if for some reason it, uh, it is coming up pretty hard, it is coming up to be a very difficult task for you, just chase me up and I, I can actually help you with the service to make sure that this gets installed for you so that then just like Yoast here at Juice to Vork, you can actually have your profile image showing up in Google search results. So I'll leave it there, I'm Ryan Malone uh, from Melbourne SEO Services and from RyanTMalone.com and if you do have any questions, just feel free to ask below this video.